Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. So our story today takes place in the Middle Ages, and this strapping man here is Prince Perfringens. And Prince Perfringens is about to have a feast, and I guess that feast is mostly alone because I did not bother to put any uh, compatriots here with him. But he's not totally alone. He's got his trusty purple snake, and the purple snake is our recurring symbol for a gram-positive rod. And the snake, notice, has a mask on. And the mask is to remind you that this is an anaerobe. And just a public service announcement, masks do not actually cut off your oxygen supply. It's just a good symbol for anaerobes. So a gram-positive anaerobic rod. And the snake is on a dirt pile. And he's on a dirt pile because Clostridium perfringens is ubiquitous in the soil. Now, he is having his feast right outside his castle, and upon his castle is his, the flag of his kingdom, and that has got a big alpha on it. And that's to remind you that uh, Clostridium perfringens' major toxin is the alpha toxin. And notice the gate here outside the castle. Notice that it looks kind of like a phospholipid bilayer with some holes in it. And that's a broken phospholipid gate. And that's because the alpha toxin is a lecithinase. And a lecithinase breaks cell membranes. Notice here the archer who's practicing his archery against this target. The target is to remind you that this is a double zone of hemolytic clearing. The lecithinase breaks down red blood cell membranes and causes a double zone of hemolytic clearing also commonly referred to as a target-shaped zone of hemolysis. So what's he having to eat? Well, he's having to eat a nice bowl of nuts, and the nuts are a symbol for a spore-forming bacteria. This is a spore-forming gram-positive anaerobic rod. He's also having some tasty roast beef and some gravy, and that's to remind you that Clostridium perfringens causes food poisoning associated with meats and gravies. Notice I waited a little bit. I waited a little bit because Clostridium perfringens causes a delayed onset of nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. This is food poisoning. Food poisoning is a common uh, result of Clostridium perfringens infection when it's ingested through meats and gravies, and it comes on about 10 to 24 hours after ingestion. So nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea depicted here by the green face and this nasty brown puddle down here. Oh no, our archer really missed his target, and he got poor Prince perfringens in the arm, and now he's bleeding. Even worse, he's got necrosis. This necrosis is myonecrosis, clostridial myonecrosis, which is known as gas gangrene. And this is one of the feared complications of a penetrating injury that then gets contaminated by clostridium perfringens. Myonecrosis or gas gangrene. And what do we do for that? Well, we need a surgeon. So here's the surgeon here to help our prince. And the first step is always going to be emergent surgical debridement. As soon as you know that it's Clostridium perfringens or you suspect it's Clostridium perfringens but don't have any way of knowing for sure or it looks emergent, then you need to send this patient off to the OR ASAP. What do we do for antibiotics? Well, we've got our purple pencil here to remind you that it is penicillin and these crying mice. These poor little mice. It's kind of like Cinderella, right? Cinderella had the mice. She married the prince. These little crying mice are a symbol for clindamycin. And clindamycin is a great antibiotic for anaerobic infection. So purple pencil, crying mice, penicillin, and clindamycin. Make sure to do both. So three things 
for myonecrosis with clostridium perfringens, you do your emergent surgical debridement, and the patient should be started on penicillin and clindamycin. And that is the end of Prince Perfringens' unfortunate feast, where he got both myonecrosis and some not nasty nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. We'll see you next time.